What's going on, everyone? It's time for uh, World War II War Creature Feature Horror Thriller Film Review. Uh, today we're going to talk about a film called Children of the Night, which was released earlier this year in 2023. And it was directed by William Steed, who also did films like All the Yans Dudes, Crash Course, Sound and Vision, and Come on Ground, Common Ground. Children of the Night. So this is a, a film that takes place in World War II, where two soldiers are fighting in the World War, and uh, yeah, they keep battling it, and they have a good, strong friendship, which turns more into a more romantic relationship. These two dudes uh, end up basically falling in love throughout the war, while also getting captured by the Nazis, and uh, yeah, being... Um, part of that, stuck in that situation, being gay and stuff like that, and they have to, like, hide it and things like that, because obviously it wasn't as accepted as it is today, back then. And then, to make matters worse, there's a vampire cult out there trying to kill them as well. <laughs> um, yeah. This film was um, okay, I'd say. It wasn't... It's, this is more of a romantic thriller with some random vampire stuff thrown into it to make it maybe a little more interesting or something. But, uh, yeah. So I was expecting a good, like overlord type movie. This one was Brookback mountain with a little bit of war scenes, and a little bit, even less vampire stuff. Uh, yeah. So yeah, overall I thought the acting was pretty good in this and the cinematography was actually pretty surprisingly good for, because the, the, the uh, the British company that makes this is known for making low budget films. And it actually, this goes to show that you don't need a huge budget to have a good uh, sense of like uh, cinematography and things like that. You have, if you get rent out a decent camera, you can still make an in small, smaller budget film look pretty good. So, and vice versa, you can have a big budget and your film can still look like complete and utter shit. So, uh, this is a prime example of having a small budget, but still able to make it look good. Like the lighting and the cinematography was actually pretty decent in this. It actually would work better in a drama film than the way it is here, because I thought like when the vampires come and stuff, it was lit pretty a little too much. I think if they toned the darkness down a bit, it would have made it a little more edgy and stuff because uh, the vampire makeup and stuff, like, don't get me wrong, that that looked good and stuff, but with how well it was lit, you could definitely tell. <laughs> it was, like, just a whole ton of makeup, or even a plastic, or maybe, like, a mask or something that they're wearing and stuff. If they turned the, the light, tone the light, lighting down for those shots, it would have looked even better. Uh, and the action scenes and stuff was pretty well done for what they had to work with and stuff. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I thought the characters, though, were paper thin. And the plot was pretty boring. Like, I went in there expecting a vampire in, in war, and instead I got a gay romantic love affair going on during war, <laughs> and they're trying to survive. So I kind of miss marketed this i think and it was pretty annoying and slow for the most part i thought it was pretty the story wise it was very boring and slow it took forever to get going and once the cool stuff start coming in they stop <laughs> keep going on with the boring romance stuff and it definitely ended and then basically kept going for another 10 minutes which it should have just ended at one point um, but, uh, yeah, so I think the downfall in this was either the writing and the mismarketing, I think. I think they tried to do, they had, like, a good thriller, and they, if they stuck with that, that would have been a good movie. But since they had added some vampire stuff, and it threw off the dynamics quite a bit, and I think that is the downfall for this. Also, the characters were pretty stale and not interesting. So, yeah, it's sad because a lot of movies these days don't have good writing. So, yeah. But uh, overall, I'd probably give Children of the Night a 2 at least. It, was, it did have some interesting scenes, and it was shot well and everything like that. So I wouldn't really recommend it for anyone, but uh, unless you're like looking for something tame to watch, you could probably check this one out. So, yeah, Children of the Night, not really that great. <laughs> it was uh, something different, but a little too different. So...
Yeah, but uh, if you want to check it out, it is on Prime right now, and uh, I found it on Tubi, so I'll link it down below so you can watch it for free on there. Also, make sure you check out my Instagram that's linked down below. Throw those clips, films, and review in the future. All my story, I use other film time hashtags and subject on film and a hashtag so you're aware of it. Also, my letterbox is down below. Derek P. Reviews, I'll throw a post by first star rating after watching the films, and my Twitter's down there too. Uh, at reviews underscore Derek. So follow me on those platforms. Stay loop this channel. Like this video. Share it so more people aware of it. Comment your opinions of the film down below if you have any. If you have any films or film franchises in any genre and on any streaming service they want to hear my opinions on in the future, comment those down below. Try my best to get to them as soon as I can and if I can find them. Make sure you subscribe. Hope you find something weird, obscure, and odd. They probably never thought checking out together. And also, so you my opinions on popular films. So come out classic films and reviews on other things as well. And don't forget to ring that bell because, well, we're going to do another monster movie. A monster or sci-fi comedy called Crabs in the next review. I'm going to check that out tonight. So make sure you tune in for that one and uh, watch out for all those crazy vampires trying to take out all the gay guys in World War II and more. And I guess I'll see you all in the next review. So until then, cheers.